its open house at the Museum of the Washington Naval Yard as this oldest of American naval installations celebrates Navy Day. Future admirals, seamen, and perhaps waves take a day away from school for an education in their country's sea power. Exhibits include actual relics of the days of Stephen Decatur and John Paul Jones. Although the museum was completed a year and a half ago, it has not been formally dedicated. It is as yet little known to the public, though it is but 10 or 15 minutes from downtown Washington. The Civil War battle between the Molitor and the Merrimack can be observed as from the deck of a nearby ship. Other vessels of the 19th century are in miniature. The late President John F. Kennedy was a lover of the sea and of the ships that sailed it, and a special section is set aside to house his collection of naval mementos. There are 24 models that the former skipper of PT Boat 109 kept around him in the White House. They will be shown here until the Kennedy Memorial Library in Cambridge, Massachusetts is completed and ready to receive them. World War II is recalled in a scale reproduction of the aircraft carrier USS Leyte. History truly comes alive to children or adults who can man the guns that fired the last shore bombardment round of that war.